Hello and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My name is CJ Altenberg. I'm going to show you a Cimarron four horse living quarters today with an outlaw conversion. We'll just start up at the front on this trailer. We decided to go ahead and put an enclosed front end on this trailer. And you'll see kind of peeking out from below it is our dual electric over hydraulic jacks. This is a slide out trailer. So we like to go ahead and put dual jacks on these trailers, giving them a little bit more stability. But we love that roll up door. It just keeps everything underneath here nice and clean. As you can see, we've got up top a battery box with our disconnect. You'll notice that we have three batteries in this in this trailer. Two of those are for the household and one of the batteries is actually for air ride suspension for that compressor. We'll talk a little bit more about this air ride on this trailer in a little bit but that's the self-contained compressor right there and that's where you're going to operate that system from. Behind this are two 30 pound propane bottles so you have a lot of LP, and again, it's nice that it's stored behind there. Spare tire, and then we have our hydraulics. This trailer not only has a hydraulic slide out, but also is equipped with electric over hydraulic brakes. So this trailer has a lot more stopping power, but if you need to uh, do the manual override on the uh, slide out itself, we can go in here release the valves, push it in, and get it locked into place. But again, this is really great to keep all that road blast away from everything underneath that trailer. So we're gonna dive into this living quarters. This is a great, great setup. This is a 15.9 short wall by Outlaw Conversions. And like I mentioned, we do have a slide out. So let's go take a peek at this. So as we get into this trailer, as you can see with the slide out opened up, you know, it gives us a lot of floor space, a lot of place to move around. You know, we can walk past each other, prep dinner, not be in each other's way, but this is a really, really nice little setup. Again, a 15.9 with the hydraulic slide. Just kind of start over here. We've got the jackknife sofa sleeper. So this guy here folds down into a bed. Our fresh water tank is actually stored behind it. We can do that on these hydraulic slides, just a lot stouter slide out. The thing that we really like about this, this size and this layout is, is we get the dual seating areas, sleeping areas. We've done some videos on some similar trailers. This one's a little bit bigger, but again, we've got that sofa and then we've got the dinette. So, if we can do two seating sleeping areas in these trailers, we always try to incorporate a dinette into that package. It's just a nice place that if you want to, you can just continually keep that table up, have dinner, have coffee, read the paper in the morning, whatever you're trying to do, and not have to put the table up, take it down for the sofa area um, on a continuing basis. We could add a second table to that and just put the floor mount in there. But again, we really like this setup because this isn't a massive long trailer by any means, but again, you do have that flexibility of being able to sleep multiple people. A lot of storage in this trailer. You know, up here are some overhead cabinets. This trailer is equipped with a satellite and direct TV ready. And then as we get over here to the kitchen area, you know, we tried to cover everything up so you have a lot of counter space when it's not in use. Nice big porcelain sink with the cover on it. And then a cover for the two burner cooktop. Up above you have a convection microwave. 
got a flat screen TV that will also rotate out so you can kind of point it in different directions. 6.0 freezer refrigerator. And then in the bathroom, you'll notice kind of the wall over to the left. And we're going to get into that when we get to the back of the trailer, but that's actually the back side of the, the tack area on this trailer. So you do have some storage above the toilet, bathroom vanity, a lot of counter space for this trailer. And then your radius shower with a skylight. And then up into the bed area, you do have a pocket door. So you can isolate yourself off, give yourself a little privacy. And then there is also an additional flat screen TV up there as well. As we get outside the living quarters, I've got the awning out right now. It is an electric awning. You can see the LED lights underneath there. We've got some exterior lights and then also exterior speakers. So this is a great place for entertaining outside the living quarters itself when the weather permits. So I mentioned that wall when we were in the bathroom and this is the closet tack with the bathroom right on the other side of that wall there. You have a four tier swing out saddle rack. It's on a gas shock that swings in. We carpeted all the walls, put a lot of bridle hooks in there for you. On the door, we put a brush tray and then also a four tier blanket bar tree on the door. Just something a little bit different on this trailer. We've done this on some using trailers. It's extremely popular. So we thought we'd incorporate it on this one and we really like the way this trailer turned out. When we get to the back here, these are aluminum 17 5 inch wheels with 16 ply tires. Those are nitrogen filled tires. It's gonna help from PSI levels fluctuating drastically. You get a one year, no questions asked warranty on these tires. If you can't be, if you hit a screw or a nail and they can't be patched, Lion's Head, the vendor that Cimarron uses will send you a new tire within about four to five days. You also get two years of roadside assistance. These are two 10,000 pound air ride axles. So we talked a little bit about the air ride up front, but this system is amazing in the ride of the trailer for you in the pickup, but also mainly for your horses. It makes a major, major difference in just road conditions and jolts to their joints. Horses are gonna step off this trailer extremely fresh. We've done some air ride videos where we go in depth at the system. Andrew's gonna continue with another one. And then we're gonna kind of do some visual um, video for you as well, just showing you the differences in rubber torsion axles versus the air ride system. Yes, it does add money, but the length and longevity you're gonna own this trailer and how many horses you're gonna put on it, the money and time that you spend with them, that air ride is, is very beneficial going to give a long, lot of longevity to your horses. We put drop windows on the tail side so we can get a lot of airflow through this trailer. These are solid with padded dividers. We've got a stud divider at number one with an escape door and then this rear divider also telescopes. So if you want to open everything up and then shut this big door behind it, you can. You have the industry's best floor 
that Cimarron builds with four inch centers. The strongest doors out there on the marketplace. You have that insulated roof that's standard on every Cimarron. It'll take substantial hail. Most importantly, it'll keep your horses nice and cool. I've got this ladder extended right now. It's Cimarron's easy angle ladder, so you don't have to go straight up the side of this. And I'm gonna actually kind of demonstrate how easy it is. I'm gonna take the camera from Cherish and I'm gonna go up here and show you this pod. But I'm gonna actually have the camera in one hand and I'm gonna climb up this ladder myself. So you can see how easy it is coming up here. We've got a deck here at the back with our generator box. And this generator is actually running right now. You might be able to hear a slight hum, but these Onan 4000 quiet generators are so nice. And then I've got the pod opened up for you. A lot of storage. You can put a lot of hay in this. You can see that the lid is on gas shocks, making it easy to open and close. And they've also gone in and put a V-shape here at the back for us. So making it nice and easy for you to transition and walk actually into that pod yourself when loading and unloading. But the pod's fantastic for storing, again, hay and other things. You don't have to get quite as carried away with securing things down. You can just shut that lid and lock it. And again, just making my way down the easy angle ladder. As we work, work towards driver's side, because of that big door on the back, we went ahead and put a broom closet on there for you, just for some additional storage. We know that sometimes we wanna carry a lot of stuff with us. These are great little areas to add, maybe a half moon water tank, put buckets, fold up wheelbarrow, anything like that. Between that and the manger, you'll see the fill for the gas generator. Fuel up your pickup at the pump, pull up, top off that, and you're ready to go down the road. I've got the mangers open with Cimarron's big heavy duty drop windows and jail bars. You have three manger doors, so a lot of storage. And then having these big heavy duty drop windows, it is also a big opening. So between these and the drop windows on the tail side and that insulated roof, you can keep that stall area in your horses nice and cool, create a lot of airflow through there. Again, on a really hot day, dead air, I mean, it's just miserable. You get a little breeze and it makes you feel a lot better. By creating that airflow across the trailer, it creates that cross breeze and will keep your horses nice and cool. And then you've got an escape door at number one, so you can use that as a mudroom. Additional storage because of your stud divider, just a nice little option there when you're, maybe if you're not loaded with four, four head and you only got three, And this is the back side of that slide out. That is a 78 inch hydraulic slide on this trailer. But this is a fantastic trailer. This is actually a 2019. So this is a closeout. We've got closeout pricing. This will be a great, great buy for somebody that's wanting a really nice, well-equipped Outlaw Conversions Air Ride 4 horse. I'll give you the stock number of it. In case you're interested, you can give us a call. It is 5N180800. So again, if you have any questions on this trailer, want to visit about it, or any other living quarters that we have on hand or on order, we always have things on order as well. Or if you want to discuss building yourself a trailer, give us a call. Again, my name is CJ Altenberg. You can ask for me directly if you call in or just ask for anybody in the sales department and they'll be able to help you out. Our direct line is 
684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.